This is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, well, unfortunately, I stumbled upon, or fortunately, depending on how you look at, a group of seriously whacked out nutcases uh, called the Non-Human Rights Project. is beyond belief. What they want to do, one of the things that they want to do is they want to essentially grant full human rights to chimpanzees. I'm showing you their uh, website. I can't believe this shit. Alright? Bill's court sets date for first chimpanzee lawsuit. Tommy and the chimpanzee is headed back to court. He won't be there in person, but non-human rights project is appealing a December ruling of the lower court that denied him the legal right to body, bodily liberty. Now, I, I'm not for abusing animals, but what these people want to do, they want to make them the exact chimpanzees exactly the same as us, and that is intolerable. They're not the same as us. They're actually even more vicious than humans are, except they don't have the weapons that we do. What do you want to do? Give them guns? Uh. If you're, let's say you're a 200 pound bruiser, and you come, come up against a, uh, you come up against a 150 pound chimpanzee, and you're unarmed. Who do you think's going to win? Well, I don't care how tough you think you are, you're going to lose, because chimpanzees are at least five times as strong as humans are pound for pound. It means you're going to get your butt kicked. So we're going to take a look at the board of directors of this uh, bunch of wackos. And one of the names is you're going to hear. Stephen M. Wise, president of Non-Human Rights Project Incorporated, holds a JD from Boston University Law School and BS in Chemistry from the College of William and Mary. This is another Ivy League whack job nutcase liberal. Teaches animal rights, jurisprudence, several law schools, and author of four books, Rattling the Cage, Toward Legal Rights for Animals, Drawing the Line, Science in the Case for Animal Rights, Though well, Heavens May Fall, and blah blah blah. This is a wacko uh, Ivy League nutcase. The second one you're going to recognize. Should have said that before. Jane Goodall is the one who did all this work with the chimpanzees, the apes, whatever. I never watched the movie. It wouldn't interest me. I'm surprised. In a way, I'm surprised that this whack job is. Uh, with these people, but in a way I'm not. So this is a liberal whack job. Unfortunately, I would have hoped she would have been more intelligent than this. Gail Price Wise is founder and president of the nonprofit Florida Center for Cultural Competence Incorporated. Cultural competence. Well, there's a contradiction in terms. And she's a, a whack job nutcase. She receives a master's degree from the Harvard School of Public Health and Health Policy Ma Management. Once again, another Ivy League uh, whack job because they turn out. You know, these Ivy League schools turn out the wackiest nutcases 
unless all they teach is wacko nutcase and extremism. You know, the kid goes in there and they teach him wacko nutcase extremism, left wing BS. And a couple others, Steve Wise. Doesn't say if this one is married to that woman. Steve Wise, president of non human rights. Project, Natalie Prozen, Executive Director, Monica Miller, Legal Working Group, Leads Working Group, Michael Mountain, Helps Develop Communications. Basically, they want to screw us over more than we're already screwed. Start granting human rights to chimpanzees, who knows what's going to happen. You know, maybe they'll be prowling around on your streets and you won't be able to do anything about it. Of course, they won't work around here because of the climate, but that only knows what this will lead to, right? I don't know. They want to get granted the same rights as humans. Now, we have to protect animals and keep them from any serious, you know, keep them from cruelty and stuff. Sure. They don't have rights the way we do. Yeah, I don't agree with Rush Limbaugh. I think he carries things too far. We do have to do some things to protect them and help them out. But these wackos want to turn them into little humans. And what's next? Is a bone ball going to go into a voting booth and Put his paw down. Here we go. 10,000 more Democrat voters. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is insanity. These people are clinically insane. I'm certain of it. I'm not a psychobabbler, so I can't diagnose anything, but these people are probably clinically insane. This is what you get when you have all these wacko nutcase uh, schools like Harvard and Yale, all these different Ivy League schools that are run by wacko nutcase extremist wacko leftists and all these uh, people graduate from these wacko nutcase leftist schools thinking how they're going to change the world instead of, you know, how they're going to make a living. Unfortunately, they managed to do both. The uh, mental disorder of liberalism, probably those schools are one of the biggest uh, places where people get infected by the mental disorder of liberalism. That would be my guess. This is beyond belief. They want to change chimps into humans. They're amazing animals, I'll agree. But they're still just animals. We're different. We have sentience. We're uh, conscious of what we do. Animals just do things by uh, instinct. Well, there you have it. Other total flat job nutcases. Unbelievable. And Marta Facts of Mars.